Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will look at how to complete a multiple choice question MCQ based assessment. We will focus on a MCQ process where you will read the question and complete the answer on the assessment platform. This tutorial video is for a MCQ assessment on my modules in my UNISA. Now let's look at the tutorial structure. In this video tutorial, we will focus on the following aspects. How to access the My Modules on the My Unisa portal. How to find your module examination site. How to locate the online assessment link. How to take an assessment. How to complete the MCQ assessment. And finally, how to submit your answers. Now let us move on to a live demonstration on the actual platform. Step 1. Log on to the My Modules portal, mymodules.unisa.ac.za. Remember, Google Chrome is the preferred browser. Step two is to enter your user ID and your password and log in. Remember, this is your normal user ID and your normal password. Once you've done that, you simply click log in. You're now on to the My Modules portal. So the next thing that you need to do is now find your module for your examination. To do this, you simply click on Sites, scroll down and look for your module title. And in this case, we're using a demonstration purposes XYZ 1501 exam June 2020. So I simply find my module, click on this site, and now I'm into the actual module site. The next step is to find online assessments. Now, if I scroll on the left hand side of my screen, I see overview, site info, announcements, gradebook, discussions, and here it is, online assessment. Now this is what I need to click. So I simply select online assessment. I now am on a page where it says assessment, take an assessment. So now what I need to do is locate the assessment that I need to take. And in this case, I find my module title, MCQ exams, so I want to take this assessment. So I simply select the assessment that I want to take. It now opens the assessment for me. So let us read these details. Online assessment, accurate. Begin assessment, I can see my module title, I can see the date, etc. It also provides some instructions for me, which is critical. It tells me when the assignment is due. It tells me how much of time that I've got. In this case, it is 30 minutes. And it tells me the date that I can finally submit this. It also tells me I have to take an honor pledge. So I simply select the box and the honor pledge is to ensure that we comply with ethical practices as we complete this task. I am now ready to begin my assessment. So I simply click on begin assessment. The system now generates the MCQ assessment for me. So let us look at this page quickly. I find the title, my examination, May 2020. A green tab on the top shows me the time remaining. Now this is quite critical because it allows me to monitor how much of time I have to complete my assessment. Question progress on the left, on the right hand side. If I open this, it allows me to see how I am progressing in terms of my questions. So this is quite critical to ensure that I complete that assessment in the time allocated to me. Now let us look at below this. Question one of three, it tells me how many questions I have to complete. It also tells me how many marks are allocated per question. Now for demonstration purposes, we only have three questions. So let us look at this. The first question. What color is contained in the UNISA logo? That's the question and these are the options. So I've got option blue, green, brown, violet. So I simply select the option that I think is accurate and I click save. Remember to click save before you click next. This will capture your answer on the system. I'm now ready to click next. It now moves on to question two. Question two of three. What emblem is contained in the UNISA logo? I now select similar to before the answer that I think best suits this response. And remember, once again, click save, let the system capture your answer on the system, and then you click next. Now you'll see that I'm coming towards the last question. My time has decreased. I am now on question three of three. What type of higher education institution is UNISA? My question, my four options, Contact University, Community College, Adult Learning Center, Open Distance E-Learning University. Once again, I select the best option and remember, click Save. 
Once the system saves, I am now ready to move to submit for grading. So that when you reach your last question, you will have this new tab, submit for grading. So I'm ready and I simply click submit for grading. The system now prepares my submission for final grading. You find that it now warns me an assessment submission warning. You are about to submit this assessment for grading. It gives me the cause name, the creator, and my assessment title, etc. Now I confirm my submission by clicking Submit for Grading. The system will now generate a receipt for me. You will find that submission, title, cause name, creator, assessment title, number of submissions, confirmation number, submitted, and now I simply click Continue. My submission is now captured on the system and I have completed this assessment. Let us recap. In this video tutorial, we focused on the following. How to access the My Modules on the My Unison portal. How to find your module examination site. How to locate the online assessment link. How to take an assessment. How to complete the MCQ assessment. And finally, how to submit your answers. On behalf of the Department of Tuition Support and Facilitation of Learning, we wish you well with your examination. All the best. Thank you.